For more on this, we are now joined by Professor John Stremlau. He is an international relations expert at the University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for joining us. A beacon of hope is what the UN Secretary General has called this grain deal. Just how significant is it for developing countries, especially in Africa? Well, it's hugely significant, Lindy, and I'm very glad that you uh, posed it as a beacon of hope because there's so much bad news out there that this is a, a very bright spot. It's a bright spot for uh, the peace process that we uh, all hope will, will finally uh, catalyze in the, in the Russian-Ukraine uh, war, but it's also uh, really a, a great news for Africa because there are uh, some 228, uh, uh, 282 million uh, people, uh, according to the UN, that are uh, food scarce here in Africa are hungry. Uh, and the food prices have gone up 42 percent since uh, 19, since 2014, 16. So this, this is a practical step forward in the peace process. And it's a very big step forward if it, if it holds if in fact the 20 million tons of uh, grain that are just cramming in in um, in the silos of, of ukraine are released through uh, odessa and to other ports and get down to the continent and the sooner the better well let's talk about the implementation of this deal as you say millions of tons of much needed grain just sitting waiting in ukrainian ports what happens next how fast do you think this grain will be released and are we likely to see an immediate reduction of food prices well, that's a very good question because we already have yesterday five percent uh, was the drop in the in the price of wheat, according to uh, some statistics I was checking uh, uh, recently, and that's 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 good news. But um, you know their logistics are are beyond my uh, uh, knowledge of the actual shipping. I was encouraged though by the news on Thursday that it seemed to be the the the, the deal maker when the insurers, uh, insurance companies and the shippers, other firms that have a stake in this, uh, agreed that, that, that the possibility of moving forward was now real and they would honor this agreement, and, which is only for 120 days initially, but it's renewable. And I think it's incumbent upon all uh, powers, the, the China, the United States, uh, uh, South Africa, everyone, to get behind this and to push to be sure that the food is um, on its way to to uh, to Africa, uh, Sergei Lavrov, uh, Lavrov, the uh, foreign minister of um, of Russia, starts. This is not coincidental, probably. This deal uh, starts an African tour uh, tomorrow on Sunday for four days. He'll go to Egypt and to is uh, to Ethiopia first of all, which are very hardly hit by the by the, the food crisis and then Congo, Brazzaville and Uganda. So it's it's a it's a it's a very good moment to focus on Africa and it's a very good moment to to uh, keep our fingers crossed that this deal can move forward very very quickly. Indeed. And of course the signing of the deal is a big moment for Turkey's president Erdogan too. Of course he helped broker the deal and has said these developments could set the scene for steps to end the war altogether. What do you think needs to happen next now to ensure that this really could be the beginning of a peace process? Well, you know, back in, in February, February 4th, on the, on the eve of the uh, Beijing Olympics, uh, Vladimir Putin and, and, and China's leader Xi Jinping uh, signed a really remarkable 5,000-word uh, uh, document that um, called on uh, all nations to support a universalist view with the UN at the center. The UN was at the center of this deal. Um, it, it, it is a, a step forward, but I wouldn't exaggerate it. The, uh, the fighting uh, is, is, uh, is, is really intense in the Donbass region right now. Uh, I really think it's up to Vladimir Putin uh, because he's the one who invaded in, in, on February 24th. Uh, a sovereign state of uh, Ukraine. And if we have believe in territorial integrity and sovereign equality, which we all say we do, th this is the time to, to uh, take a deep breath and find a, a, a workable solution forward to, the, to both parties, to Ukraine and Putin. Uh, but uh, whether that's possible or not, I can't forecast. Yeah, 